Hi guys, it's Philo. It feels like it's been ages since I've talked to you. But yeah, now my voice is back. So here we are with the September theme, mushrooms. Yeah, I know, groundbreaking. But fall is coming on September 23rd and I'm really tired of all this heat. I can't stand it anymore, so yeah, I wanted to celebrate the coming of fall. So the theme is mushrooms, but I've tried and create a whole atmosphere about it, kind of magical with moon and clouds and some green branches also. And then I've kept this atmosphere across the pages, but changing the mushroom species on every spread. For the headers, I did some banners. I can't even remember when was the last time I used banners for my headers. And I love it, I think it matches this whimsical atmosphere perfectly. Plus, it's very easy to do. For the coloring part, I used my new Crayola Colors of the World because they have a wide range of beige and browns. And this particular species of mushroom is a fly agaric, which is poisonous. And for its cap, I wanted a muted kind of brownish red, and this one was perfect. And then a muted pink for this fluffy cloud. In the end, I like that it's muted, but still colorful and very natural, except for the pink cloud. For the header, I stamped the month in brown and it's not very well centered, I know. And for the final whimsical touch, a lot of stars. And finally, I felt like this cover was missing a frame, so I used some washi tape. I used the same grid beige one I used last month. And then I found this one with fall leaves and it's really beautiful. I'll try and find where I bought this one because I don't actually remember and I'll link it in the description. For my memories page I went with another species which is called Clustered Bonnet and I don't think it's edible either, but it's really cute. I drew them as if growing from the moon. In Spain, mushroom season starts actually in October or even November. So yeah, I didn't know that, but I couldn't wait to draw mushrooms. And anyway, I'm not really a mushroom person cooking wise, so yeah. Oh, and I definitely don't know anything about edible or poisonous mushrooms, so don't count on me for that. Second header. Did I center this one? 
No, I definitely didn't. I had my doubts about this reddish line, but then, as you'll see now, I added some beige horizontal lines, and now I love it. And now with the monthly spread, I kept the same setup I did for the last few months with my calendar on the left page and my goals on the right page. This month I decided to move my social media trackers under my calendar, so I put them in this fluffy cloud. And then I drew yet another mushroom species. And yeah, I know what you think. This can't exist. Well, it does. And actually, it may be one of the few edible mushrooms I've drawn in the theme. It's called a shaggy ink cap. Well, that's not the Latin term, of course, but it's called a shaggy ink cap. And apart from being edible, it also absorbs metal from the soil, so it's actually used as mycoremediation. Not sure I pronounced it right, but yeah, it's used to clean landscapes from heavy metals. It's usually white with black drops, hence the name. But I decided to create a new species, so mine is red. For the header, I did a very simple lettering of the month with a gradient I'm not very good yet at playing with the width of the Crayola markers, so I'll have to practice. And maybe in the next month we get to see some of my progress. On the right page, I'm back with the banners. I tried and vary their shapes. Here I drew a Caesar's mushroom, called this way because it was one of the favorite mushrooms of the Roman Empire rulers. So I obviously didn't know that when I drew it, but I think it's funny that the plant could be laurel for the Roman Empire. My intention was to draw a full moon, but at this stage it really looks like a beach ball.
I expect to feel this spread really fast because I was falling behind on about everything this last month as I've been sick. So yeah, I have a lot of content to film or edit and all my clients are back from their vacation. So I'll be back teaching fully next week. For this first weekly, I went with a vertical layout. I posted my August setup just last week, so I didn't really have time for a separate mood and habit tracker spread. But it's been ages since I've done one and I really intend to do one probably next month if I can. <laughs> for now, I'm quite late on everything, but I'll try. The mushroom for this week is an oyster mushroom, it's edible too and actually used also for micro-remediation which means cleaning the soil and helping depollute the environment. This one is chilling in the half moon night, you know, doing its thing. Speaking of the moon, I know it's a recurrent theme in bullet journaling, we love drawing the phases of the moon and learning how to take care of my new garden. I've learned very recently that there are times of the month uh, which are better indicated to plant or collect plants and it depends on the phases of the moon. So yeah, we are learning a lot of things today. Did you already know that? Here I stamped the number of the week and the K went backwards. So yeah, this time it's not that I didn't center it, it's just that I wrote backwards. What do you know, I'm full of surprises. When I was researching and looking for inspiration for this theme, I realized I have a lot of stationary items around mushrooms and fall, but I really wanted to draw because it's been some months since I've doodled in my bullet journal. So even if I mostly drew in this theme, I decided to do some little collages here and there using stickers and washi tapes. And that's it for this monthly setup. 
I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I see you next week with a surprise and the week after that with the rest of my weekly setup. And until then, enjoy planning!